So I'm going to show you really quickly how to overlay two different modes so you can see the deflection shapes with reference to one another. So I've got a test here and what I've done right now is I've created a geometry display by clicking this geometry icon up here. If I do that, I can create a new geometry display and I've got my geometry that I have created here. So I'm going to click and drag this into the geometry display. You should see I've got some rings and now I can go to my mode set by navigating to it here, processing, mode set, I have my modes. And then if I click and drag one over, I can sort of see the mode shape. Here's sort of a squeezing mode. And I can do a couple things before I overlay this. If I wanna see the color deformation, I can right click and go to coloring and then enable. And now I've got sort of the highs and lows of deformation shown in color. Now, if I wanted to overlay two plots, I'm going to turn off that coloring. I could take a second mode and if I click and drag, if you see that I click, drag into the first part of the screen, it says main. But if I go towards the back, there's these little black dots that sort of appear. Now it says overlaid. If I do that, now I can see the two mode shapes overlaid. So I can see that they're a similar mode shape, just in different directions and out of phase with one another. And if I want to change the overlay, I can just drag a different one into the overlaid section. Another one into the main section. So now we're looking at two different modes. And at the bottom to keep track, I on my main section, I, at the bottom, I have mode five, which is at 115 hertz. And on my overlaid section, I have mode four. So it's really nice to be able to see the two modes overlaid on one another. You can do two at a time just to get a kind of an idea. Maybe some of your modes are combinations of others and it'd be nice to see exactly where those de deformations line up. And so that's how you overlay mode shapes in TestLab.